Hell yeah! What is going on, everybody? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy D Ken, and welcome to my incredible podcast. Now, before we commence this episode, do not forget to Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys and your families, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and of course, as always, enjoy. Now, let's get started. Our top story for today shall be female corrections officer is now facing time behind bars. Now, for those of you that have already heard of this story, either on the news or on social media, you're already up to speed. However, for those of you that have not heard of this story, it shall be my prestigious pleasure to fill you in. This tells the cautionary story of this lovely female who got caught getting her back blown out by one of the inmate chads while other inmates witnessed this whole thing go down in plain sight. Now, I cannot wait to dive even further into this story. So with that said, let's get right into it. This is indeed the female corrections officer herself, Tina Gonzalez, or should I say former corrections officer. She's 26, which means that she is still in her prime, you know. However, she's not that far away from hitting the wall. So this female got caught in plain sight by 11 other inmates, getting her peace leave wet and therefore getting her back blown out by one of the inmate chads. Now, I want you to understand this next thing that I'm gonna say. She, no shit, I am, I am not kidding you. She, no shit, cut a hole in her corrections uniform in an effort to facilitate these sexual encounters with this inmate that she was getting wet for. And it wasn't that she couldn't help it, she simply chose not to help it. That was a choice that she took into account right before she got arrested and charged. Now, let me show you the article titled, Female Corrections Officer Jailed for Sex with Inmate in View of 11 Others. In addition to this article, there is one more article that I would like to present to you, but let's start with this one. I shall read it to you right now. It says, and I quote, A female California corrections officer with a depraved mind has been jailed for reportedly having sex with an inmate in full view of 11 other jailbirds. Tina Gonzalez, 26, even cut a hole in her uniform pants to make it easier to have sex in Fresno County Jail. Her sentencing hearing was told on Tuesday, according to the Fresno Bee. Mind you, folks, this article came out specifically back in July 2nd of this year. It continues on, and I quote, Her former boss, Assistant Sheriff Steve McComas, told the court that he had witnessed many pretty disgusting things during his 26 years on the job, but nothing as shocking as hearing of Gonzalez's sex session in full view of other inmates. That is something only a depraved mind can come up with, McComas told the court, according to the local paper. Gonzalez, who quit after being arrested in May last year, also supplied the same inmate with razors, a cell phone, and advance warnings when his cell was going to be searched, the report said. <coughs> this does raise a few questions, because there will be times when you never know who you're dealing with and you need intel. Why was she supplying this specific inmate with the cell phone? Why was she letting this inmate know when he was going to be searched? Was she affiliated with some sort of gang or syndicate? Or better yet, was this particular inmate affiliated with any syndicate or gang? These are questions that you need to take into account because a corrections officer supplying an inmate with a cell phone will indeed raise questions and red flags. Let's progress with this article. It continues on and I quote, She took an oath which she betrayed and in doing so endangered her co-workers' lives, McComas said. But she has shown no remorse. She continually calls and has sexually explicit conversations with the inmate in question and boasts about the crimes she carried out, he told the court according to the B. Well, I am looking at the picture of her, and after reading this article, I was just like... 
it, just by looking at her in this photo, you could tell that she just did not give two fucks anymore. I, I guarantee you, she was thinking to herself, I don't care anymore. That sausage special was worth it. And the very fact that 11 other beta male inmates saw this whole thing go down right before their very eyes, it says several things that I need to mention. One, just by reading this article, you can tell that those cuck-ass inmates just could not contain themselves. They were thirsty for some pea sleeve. They just wanted just a few crumbs of her pea sleeve. Two, as for her, she just did not care. She just needed some action badly because her marriage was going absolutely south. Now, this is something that the first article did not mention. And we're going to talk about that when I present to you the second article. Three, as for the guy that got her pea sleeve wet, I don't blame him at all. Blame it on this female because she's the officer that chose to act in an irresponsible manner. She chose to cut a hole in her uniform to facilitate sexual encounters with this inmate Chad. So charge her. Don't charge him. Let's continue with this article. It continues on and I quote, Gonzalez pleaded no contest in April to sexual activity by a detention facility employee with a consenting inmate as well as possessing drugs or alcohol and a cell phone to give to an inmate, the outlet said. Her former boss called for her to get the maximum sentence of three years and eight months in prison, but Judge Michael Idahart noted her early plea and lack of criminal history as he sentenced her Tuesday to seven months in the county jail, followed by two years of probation. I think what you did was terrible, stupid, and you have ruined your career, Idahar told Gonzalez. But I also believe that people can redeem themselves, and you have the rest of your life to do that. Good luck, the judge told her. The judge went so soft on this female. Matter of fact, I agree with the assistant sheriff's recommendation for the maximum sentence. Three years and eight months in prison. I know I spoke about the double standard in some of my previous videos, and I shall continue talking about this on this podcast until the day I die. So, let's reverse the gender roles in this situation. Let's say a male officer chooses to get hard for a female inmate blows her back out now in this case he doesn't have to cut a hole in his uniform he could just simply open up his zipper and just stick it out and that's it blows her back out in front of 11 other female inmates in plain sight here's a question i would love to ask all of you after he gets caught then arrested and charged what do you think his sentence is going to be let's say the male officer goes before a female judge not a male judge but a female judge what do you think his sentence is going to be? Personally, I believe the answer is simple. For those of you that believe that he would get the maximum sentence for the same fucking offense, three years and eight months, you are 100% correct, just because the double standard says so. Well, anyways, that concludes the first article. Now let's move on to the second article. This article is titled, Married Prison Guard Tina Gonzalez who had sex with inmate in front of 11 inmates is out on bail and twerking. Keep in mind folks, this article came out two days after the first article I presented to you. And this one mentions that the female officer was married when she was getting her back blown out. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Let's go. It starts by saying, and I quote, BSO exclusively reported on married correctional officer Tina Gonzalez, by the way, they spelled officer wrong, who was arrested after she was exposed for having sex with an inmate and let 11 other inmates watch. She was also passing her inmate bay, classified information and contraband. She blamed her husband for not satisfying her in their marriage for the reason she was acting out. She got out on bail, and the first thing she did was started twerking for the gram. So, she's out on bail. Meanwhile, the inmate that she got wet for is still stuck in prison. He did not get charged as far as we know it. She's out enjoying her fucking freedom, or should I say her temporary freedom. But she still has to appear before the court to decide her fate, and she chose to twerk it out on her Instagram page. Check out this clip. 
I'm out on bail, these motherfuckers trying to get me, but I won't tell, so what's some time to... Before we continue with the second article, I need to say something about the judge that chose to impose a lenient sentence to this female, because as real masculine men, we need to take a stand and say to the world that this double standard bullshit needs to stop. To the judge, I say this, just because you have a hard on for this female doesn't give you the right to impose a light sentence on her. I don't care what's going on in your mind. I don't care if you fantasize about sticking it all the way inside of her. Just get the fuck off the bench. You are the definition of a soft ass judge when it comes to females. Now, in my personal opinion, you are too fucking emotional to be on the bench and you need to be replaced ASAP. As for the sentence, it needs to be revised. A different judge needs to step in and restore actual discipline in the name of the law. You call this justice? I call this a clear-cut example of abuse of judicial power. You are not following the legal standards of what it means to be a real judge. Whoever appointed you as a judge really needs to reconsider his or her opinion because what you're doing is a complete disservice to your community. Fuck you. Get the fuck off the bench and shame on you for imposing a super soft ass light sentence on this female. Get another judge to replace you. Now that I got that off of my chest, let's continue with this article. It continues on and I quote, She was sentenced to seven months in jail and two years probation. I would not be shocked if she dropped an OnlyFans while she was in jail. Ironically, she's going to be in the same prison that she used to work in, just on the female side. Not surprisingly, she has her cash app information up on her Instagram. Who knows who's actually running the page? So you have been warned. A lot of the comments are from men wanting to put money on her books or want to have a relationship when she is officially set free. Well, I could tell you right now, for those of you beta male cucks out there that are thirsty for her peace leave, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves because y'all beta male simps actually believe that she's relationship material. I promise you, you shall learn the hard way when she fucks you over. I promise you, one way or another, you will learn that females like her, they're not loyal to any man. Look what she's capable of. Look what she did when she was working in that prison. Folks, you need to listen to me right now, especially the men that are listening to this. Always pay attention to what she does. Pay attention to her actions, not what she says. You may have heard of the saying, actions speak louder than words. So for those of you that want to give away your hard-earned money to these females or want to be in a relationship with her, I got two words for you. Good luck. That's all I'm going to say to you. Now let's get back to this article. It continues on and I quote, no word from her husband and how he's handling all of this. My guess would be not very well. Flip the pages for her twerk videos and more from her secret Instagram page, including her cash app if you want to support. Okay, number one, no thank you. I'm not a fucking simp. I shall keep my hard earned money and I am on my purpose and my mission in life to one day become a fucking millionaire. Number two, this concludes the article. In conclusion, you know, what need more be said? Like, this female has demonstrated that she don't care about who she has to fuck over in order to get ahead. Her marriage was not going well. And as for the husband, I feel horrible for the guy. He did not deserve this at all. Because, just like the assistant sheriff said, only a female with a depraved mind would be capable of doing something like this. And she did act out on those ideations, indeed. So with that said, here's the main point that I need to get across once and for all. Gentlemen, whatever you do, always operate with an objective point of view. This means that whatever happens, do not give your all to a female that could potentially screw you over just because she's not happy in the marriage. Do not completely trust a female that you're into just because she's physically attractive. Pay attention to what she says, but more importantly, pay attention to what she does. So with all of that said, this concludes this episode of my incredible podcast. So thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to Hulk smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Share this with your boys and your families. Follow me on Instagram. Smash that bell notification button. And every single one of you, have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace out.